today i will share few facts about another commonly seen vascular problem we call peripheral vascular disease or a peripheral artery disease what is pvd pvd means peripheral vascular disease wherein arteries in the leg which supplies pure blood to the legs gets narrowed leading to inadequate blood supply to the leg it can also happen to various different body parts upper limbs or any other viscera in the body but pad usually refers to inadequate blood supply to the legs why pad occurs pad occurs because of a deposition of a plaque which is a material made up of fat and a cholesterol in the blood vessels and this process is known as atherosclerosis who are at the risk of developing peripheral vascular disease people who smoke who are diabetics hypertensive ischemic heart disease or people with lipid abnormalities are more prone to develop peripheral vascular disease what are the symptoms of peripheral vascular disease to begin with person would develop a cloudy case and pain means pain walking after certain distance and that pain gets relieved on taking a rest for a while if you do not treat at this stage if you do not control risk factors the disease would progress and would lead to a condition called rest pain wherein pain is very severe burning kind of pain which is more at night and which is so bad that a person cannot sleep comfortably at night other symptoms of pvd are non healing ulcers over the foot or some kind of gangrene of a toe fore foot or a foot now what is gangrene gangrene means death of a tissue wherever there is absence of blood supply which could be to the foot which could be to the toes or the fingers or at times for the bowel how do we diagnose pvd first and foremost a detailed thorough clinical examination by a vascular surgeon followed by some non invasive test like ankle brachial pressure index called abpi or color doppler ultrasound examination nowadays special angiographies like ct angiography and mr angiography are also non invasive day care procedures and they certainly offer detail information we desire to have these days people are aware about angiography angio means blood vessels and graphy is to see means seeing of blood vessel is known as angiography angiography can be performed for any blood vessels from head to toe and there are different types of angiographies traditional method called dsa or with machines called ct angiography or mr angiography how do we treat peripheral vascular disease the objective of treatment is to improve blood supply to the leg and thereby to offer symptomatic relief to the person first and foremost thing is to control risk factors like smoking a good control of sugars blood pressures and abnormal lipids along with this certain medications like celestazol certainly helps in improving walking distance and blood thinners like aspirin and clopidogrel can help these days a newer drug called rivaroxaban is also used to prevent further progression of the disease in advanced cases we need to offer them either an angioplasty or a leg bypass operation angioplasty means dilatation of a occluded or a narrow blood vessels which is a simple safe and effective procedures which is done through a small puncture it is not a major operation and a blocked artery is open with a balloon if it does not stay open with the balloon a stent is deployed in the artery so that the blood supply can be restored in a leg bypass operation we normally bypass the blocked artery above and below either by natural vein from the body or from a synthetic tube what are the complications of 
bypass or, or an angioplasty. There are few consequences like there could be failure of the procedures, blockage of the treated artery leading to an amputation or a wound infection. What is the aftercare of a bypass or an angioplasty? Let's talk about angioplasty first. Angioplasty is again a daycare procedures, minimally invasive and performed under local anesthesia. Patient needs hospitalization only for a day or two. It does not require a great post-operative care except containing medications, controlling risk factors, diet and exercise. For bypass operation, patient needs to be hospitalized for three to five days time. Followed by that, he needs wound care for two weeks time, a regular wound care and avoiding those wounds with some kind of uh, water. Let, let the wound remain dry. And continue all medications advised by the doctors and control of these factors. How to prevent progression of PVD? Progression of PVD can certainly be controlled or reduced by regular exercise like walking, control of risk factors like smoking, good control of sugars, blood pressure and lipid abnormalities, diet, weight reduction and certain drugs like silastazole, uh, aspirin, clopidogrel and rivaroxaban. Save legs, save life.